So it's been no secret in the history of this YouTube channel that I have been a firm believer in wearing some type of safety equipment while you're riding your bike, whether it be a helmet, knee pads, shin guards, ankle braces, I wear all of the above. But I have firmly believed in that and preached it heavily because I realized at a very young age that doing this could make me be able to ride my bike for longer. So since about the age of 15 or 16, I've worn some type of knee pad, shin guard and ankle brace and recently this past year getting hooked up officially with shadow riding gear some of that has changed and periodically over the history of this youtube channel i've gone over what safety equipment i've been wearing at any given point in time so this is another entry in that series because some things have changed since my last one so let's start at the top and work our way down first things first is my shadow featherweight helmet so since getting hooked up with shadow riding gear this is the helmet of theirs that i chose put it on here so that i don't have to hold it and what i love most about this helmet is the fact that it is not only certified but it's double certified and it is so light that you literally forget that it's on your head this thing weighs honestly not that much more than like a hat that you might wear on your head. It's also certified, like I said, so that means it's been put through the testing necessary to pass these certifications in order to keep your head and brain safer and to give you confidence in choosing this helmet. But I have had no complaints with this thing. It's comfortable. It feels like it fits well on my head. It doesn't flop around. I did swap out the padding in the front for the padding that is used in the other helmet that Shadow Riding Gear offers. But other than that, this is exactly how it comes, I guess, and the paint job. But I've thoroughly enjoyed this thing. It's so light, I forget it's on my head. I feel safe with it, and yeah, not a lot more to say about that. It's a nice lightweight helmet that you can trust to keep your head safe. And it's really cold in my car right now, so I'm gonna put my hat back on. Before we get to the knee pad, I only grabbed one of each, but you'll get the point. This is the Shadow Super Slim Knee Pad. I wear size medium in these, and I have talked at length about these things. What's cool about them, aside from everything to do with the comfort and protection they offer me for BMX, is that they actually have passed a certain level of motorcycle safety in the standards that that has. Again, I'll put that information on the screen. I don't want to try and say something that is wrong. But as far as riding BMX goes, when I made my full review on these things, I wanted to wait until I hit my knee hard enough to, you know, have a proper review and be able to give, you know, a knowledgeable statement on these things. And since then, I've hit my knees, unfortunately, pretty hard a few more times. And it's given me all the confidence that I need in these things. I went from the previous version of Shadow's knee pads, actually several versions ago, that had a plastic insert in it and way too big for me, didn't stay up on my knee. And since I've gotten these, it's just been a world of difference. These things have a little rubberized area around the top, around the whole entire circumference of the top on the inside to keep them up as well as a Velcro strap you can adjust how tight they are on your knee. They've got an inside padding area for the inside of your knee, some mesh here on the back for breathability, and they're made of a neoprene design, as well as the fact that they have a half inch to three quarters of an inch of padding inside the knee pad here on the front that goes all the way down. The padding spans from the top just almost to the very, very, very bottom of this thing. And once again, I am very confident in recommending this knee pad to anyone who may feel like they want some knee pads and it's so slim that they fit under your pants no problem without even really being able to tell that they're there. And I feel that this is a great point in this video that I can also let you guys know about something new here in that I now have a code and a link that I can share with you guys for Shadow Riding Gear and get you 10% off of anything that you guys purchase with these. And that brings me to talking about price with that, but that link and that code gives you a discount and it helps me out at the same time. So if you've ever thought about buying some of these or anything from Shadow Riding Gear, that code 
will help me and you at the same time. So I'm stoked that this is a thing that I can tell you guys about now. And yeah, thanks to those guys for setting that up. And I believe it may even work for like anything on the Sparky's website. You might have to check on that, but I think that might be the case. So when it comes to price of these things, I feel like they're pretty reasonably priced as well. They're in the $50 to $60 range. And when you compare that to some of the other options that are out there for knee pads, it's pretty affordable compared to some of what's out there. And the comfort level on these is just awesome. Very much so recommend them. And I've washed these a couple times now. They don't stink. It's great. I love it. And I'm not just saying all of this because I represent shadow riding gear and I have this link in any of that. If you've been a long time viewer of this channel, you know that I only really talk about things that I believe in. And I was already wearing these before even getting connected with them officially. I believe in these. And these, you see, is something different. This is the shin guard that I've been wearing. This is, these are the shadow shinners. They are a shin guard that has four velcro straps on the back with velcro all the way down and then the other side the soft part so that these things can be on you snug and then on the inside here they have velcro that opens up very very well and then on the inside we'll pull it out so you can see what's in there that is a plastic piece with detail of the shadow crow head and it's got padding on the inside of it and this plastic piece is something i've talked about previously in that it has this bend to it that actually hovers the shin guard a little bit off of your shin giving you almost another layer of protection in that it has to something has to hit this so hard that it flexes the plastic out and then continues in to hit your shin and I have had so many scenarios where I have blasted my shins with the pedals, a peg, cranks, just so much stuff <laughs> hit my shins. You can see here there's a little uh, battle wound there but you can see all the little indents in there from where my pedals have hit there. Not so much as a single mark on my actual shin underneath these. I don't know if the price has gone up too much, but last I checked, they were around $40. That is pretty affordable when you consider that having a super gnarly shinner, if it's bad enough, it can keep you from riding for weeks to a month, maybe even more, depending upon how bad it is. Same with your knees. If you fall on your knees and you hit hard enough, it can keep you off your bike for a considerable period of time. And I think that the price of these is especially the helmet, especially a helmet in general, please. Even if you don't choose a shadow riding gear, just wear a helmet when you ride. I was riding, not doing a single trick, crashed so hard at the trails on my third run that it knocked me out for a couple minutes. And I'm just really lucky that nothing severe or long lasting came from that. So I think the price that you pay for these things is worth the protection that they offer and the amount that they keep you on your bike whenever you had a potential thing that could have injured you be prevented by them. I know a lot of people talk about pads and at the end of the day, it's a personal preference kind of thing, but I will preach this to no end because there's been so many times growing up riding since I was 15 or 16 that I have had terrible situations of hitting that or rolling an ankle if I didn't have an ankle brace on or landing on my knees that would have taken me out for weeks, month, who knows how long, where I could have rode or many times did ride the very next day because I didn't have to worry about it. And so that brings me to the last thing. This actually isn't a shadow riding gear thing. And this is a major update in my previous videos that you guys haven't seen yet. This is a different ankle brace than what I previously wore. It might look very similar here, but there's one key difference. So before we get to that difference, I'll tell you about the ankle brace itself and why I like these. So when we look at the side here, you can see we pull off the strap. There's this plastic area. This plastic is something that I really like because it protects your whole entire leg from here all the way into your shoe on both sides from impacts. 
you hit that with your peg, especially through all of the, the wraps and everything there, you're way less likely to feel it than you are with something that has just fabric. And that is one thing that's really drawn me to these and kept me on the, or in them over the years. I actually first found this style of ankle brace whenever I rolled my ankle when I was like 15 or 16 and I borrowed one from my buddy Ryan and it was exactly this but without an extra thing on it and ever since then that's what I've sworn by because I found them on Amazon you can buy even this one for just twenty dollars literally just twenty dollars and I will say space brace is more expensive than this when you buy a space brace, you're supporting a rider owned company. So that is an aspect to consider. I prefer these. I prefer the protection it offers and the support that I feel I have, but I did want to shout out space brace just because rider owned is always a good thing to support. These are a different material on these as well. So you may remember from my previous video where I talked about ankle braces that the straps I found on the ones that I was using at that time were definitely stronger. Those ones were overkill. These are a step below. This is similar to, you know, like what your seatbelt is made of. It's a little bit thinner than that, but it's similar. So you don't have as much worry about it ripping. The original ones that I had were a material that just after like eight months to a year would rip. And these things, my previous pair of these are still perfectly fine. They're just kind of gross from wearing them for over a year. So that is an awesome upgrade for the same price. Then the laces. The laces are another thing. These laces are nice, they're long, they stretch a little bit so you can wrap them around and tie them the way that you want to. But the main feature, aside from everything that I've already talked about that keeps me on these shin guards is this boot lacing system right here. This thing is so nice because it's like a boot in that it has the hook that you wrap it around the lace goes around it and it has three of them. And I use that so that I can make it as tight as I need to. And like the quick lacing that you see on other ankle braces, that is cool and everything, but eventually that is going to wear out because the elastic in that can only go so far. And if you don't have the exact right size, say you buy a size that's just a little too big or you're between in a weird way, it can be awkward to tighten that and keep it as tight as it needs to be. With this boot lacing system, it just... You tighten it as tight as you want to, then you take the figure eights and you make those as tight as you want to. And I just feel that out of any of the ankle braces I've ever tried, and yes, I have tried several others, these keep my ankle in a locked position so that it, if it was going to be presented with a situation where my ankle would roll, it just prevents it. And that is why I enjoy these ankle braces and why I've chosen these ones over the years. But then... These were found. My buddy Jordan found these whenever he was asking me about ankle braces. There is actually a third strap on these so that once you get this figure eight all tied up and you get the laces tied up, you can use this strap to go around the top and keep everything self-contained. You can keep the, the laces underneath there and also have another element of keeping the ankle brace tight on your leg. And it's just another thing that really makes me like these ankle braces. These ones are Seaway. I'll leave an Amazon link in the description down below, just like using the Sparky's link or discount code that is Brant whenever you're checking out on Sparky's. If you use the affiliate code for the Amazon link for these, I also get helped out with that as well. But as far as this goes, this is like the ultimate version of the ankle brace that I've used for over 10 years at this point. And I can tell you a story about the previous version of this without even having this extra strap that I meant to just say offers another element of impact protection because it's a little thicker and it just adds thickness to around that part of your ankle. But the story is that I was riding at Ray's and I was 360ing the spine and there was a deck full of people watching and I hung up. Got sideways, jackknife, my foot went into my front tire, sideways, landed all crooked, horrible, horrible looking crash to where I jump up on my feet and look up at everybody and they're looking at me with a look of disgust. And I remember someone being like, how are you standing right now? And instantly I'm like, because I'm wearing the ankle brace, it would have rolled my ankle at the very least, if not something worse than that could have very well happened. And it, this is just one of the examples that I can remember off the top of my head 
of the ankle brace I wear saving me and letting me continue not only with that session, but riding that week, the next day, and two weeks from then when with a rolled ankle, a lot of you know, because you've experienced it, you could be out for three weeks to a month, maybe more depending on the severity. So that is the ankle brace that I wear. It's the Seaway. I don't know if it has a specific model name. It's linked below, but that is everything that I wear as far as safety equipment goes. This ankle brace, the super slim poke myself in the eye V2 knee pads, shadow shinners, and the shadow featherweight helmet. So if you have any questions about these, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to give specifics on things. When it comes to these ankle braces and sizing, I've worn everything from small to large, depending upon what was available. Small definitely is a pretty tight fit, but medium seems to be great, but these are a large and they work okay too. So if you're 5'10", 5'11", and you have a normal you know, leg size, you can check out the sizing and it seems like things pretty well work. Knee pads, mediums, shinners, mediums. I have heard of people who have extra large calves having to extend these Velcro pieces, but it is possible to do that. So if you need that as an option, you can make that happen. I've heard of a couple people doing that. So on that note, if you guys wanna pick up anything shadow riding gear, whether it's clothing, gloves, knee pads, shin guards. They do offer an ankle support, not exactly meant to be a brace the same way this is, but it is an ankle support. You can pick all of that up using the link in the description down below. And when you check out, use the code, all caps, BRANT to save 10% and help me out. Or the link for the ankle brace is down there as well. I want to thank you guys all for continuing to support me on this YouTube channel. I want to try and give back to you guys with the knowledge that I've gained over the years about this safety equipment and hopefully keep some of you riding. And if you have positive experiences with the equipment that you're wearing to keep you safe, leave them in the comments. And if you're new here or you haven't yet, consider subscribing while you're down there so we can see you tomorrow for another one. I want to thank you guys all for watching. This has been a Tuesday tip. It's been a while since we've had one of these. We'll see you tomorrow for another video.